So I've been promising to make some very basic Photoshop Elements tutorials. This one is on a PC in Photoshop Elements 5, and I am just going to show basically, you've opened the box, now what do you do? You've got elements on your computer, first day, digitally scrapbooking. Um, I would create a new blank file. You'll see right here next to it, if you hit Control, this right here, whoops. <laughs> the little thing that says Control and then it plus N. If you hit Control and N, that's that quick key for making a new file. We can name our file. I'm going to make mine be 12 by 12 inches for this layout. And my resolution right here says 300 pixels per inch. And this is 12 inches by 12 inches. Um, RGB color, um, it's not really going to matter right now. CMYK is what most are, but apparently RGB is my only option. So we'll make our background white. You could also have it be transparent or a different colored background color. And then I will click OK. Oh, the 300 for resolution, you want to be at least 300 for printing. That's standard, so your picture is not pixelated. OK, so I have a layout. And then I can go ahead and go to Open. I am going to open a piece of paper. This paper is from PCLayers.com. And I'm going to open this one. This is the new Amelie kit. All right, so now I can either open a paper and then save this file out as a new name right here, save as. And we'll just ignore that. And I can save it to my desktop. See how right now it says NM Amelie Paper 7? That's the name of the original file. If I change that to a new name, call it New Layout, and hit Save. Now I can work on this piece of paper without corrupting my original piece of paper. Okay, but let's say that I hadn't done that. Let's say that I opened a new blank document like this one down here. And I want to put this piece of paper on this document. So I'm going to grab my arrow tool up here, click on the document in the big screen, not on the little tiny thumbnail, and drag to your other document. Now you can see there is my background layer. Now I have layer one that says paper. If I double, if my paper says layer one, I can double click and rename it paper. And there we go. I can close out of this file. Now I'm going to open uh, let's open my Amelie freebie. We're going to open a whole bunch of paper clips. Okay, and they show up down here in your photo bin preview box down at the bottom. Okay, if you have too many, it will go down and start a new row, and you can scroll through right here. So I'm going to select the pink one, and then again, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it with my arrow and drag it onto my paper. It's important with elements like this, like this paper clip, you don't ever want to make it larger than it originally comes. If I, if I take this and I make it bigger like that, and then click this little check mark for OK, it's going to be pixelated. Okay, it's not going to look good. So we're going to go to Edit, Undo, which is also Control Z. You will want to know that one very well. You'll use it a lot. Okay, see how as I hover or over the corner of this little paper clip, it shows an arrow that has two little arrowheads and a curvy turn kind of thing. I can use that to rotate my paper clip and then click OK, this little green check mark right here, or hit Enter. Either one will work. Okay, so now my little paper clip is just how I want it. I'm going to do, I'm going to pause for a second and open a new file. Actually, I need a photo. Okay, so I picked out a photo and I'm going to go ahead and open the file, which I saved to my desktop. And it is this cute image right here. 
So I'm going to scroll down. I'm already on the image. There we go. So I'm going to take my arrow, drag the image onto my layout. Take a minute sometimes. My computer likes to think a lot because I am actually running a PC program on a Mac. It's Mac girl. But I'm using PC, so that's why I like to do these tutorials in PCs so it looks the same for everybody. Okay, there we go. So now there's my image, and as you can see, it's really large. It's almost 12 inches tall. So I want to size it down. I can also size things by going to Image, Transform, Free Transform. See how it says Control T? Click that. See right here where it says Width and Height? I can change this and type in 50. And it says constrain proportions. If I don't constrain the proportions, when I type in 50 and 100, it will stretch it out. So right now I can go ahead and change it to 50. This is just a different way to size things other than using the little corners right here. And then hit OK. Now I've got this cute photo. If I want to rotate it, I can just take the corner until I have my little corner arrow, tip it, and hit the check mark. Now I can grab my paper clip. See right now how my paper clip is below my photograph? That's because this layer that I'm going to rename paper clip is below the layer that I'm going to rename photo. Ooh, not photo. Photo. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this layer and drag it above the one that says photo. Now my paper clip is on top. All right, so I want to zoom in a little bit, and I am going to magnifying glass for that. I can either drag and select an area to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in a little more and a little more, or I can change my zoom right here. Now what I want to do, this paper clip, it's on top, right? It doesn't look like it's really grabbing the photograph. So I'm going to go to my eraser tool. Find an eraser that has a fairly hard edge for this one, and I am just going to start erasing on my paper clip only the part that I want to look like it is tucked behind the photo. So I'm just going to very carefully erase a couple pieces right where it would be tucking behind. All right, now that that's done, I can go back and I can zoom out back to, whoops, where I was. Another good thing to do is to go down here to the bottom and type in 100. If you're at 100%, that will show you how it's going to print. So you can, I can take a look and see if my document is going to be pixelated at all as I am going to go to print this later. That might be a problem. 